Hello, everybody. I think I'm just about ready to get started. Let's just chat a little. Today we'll be on the shorter side of things, since I have something to do around my lunchtime, but... In the meantime, let's enjoy some Wild Arms. We were... <laughs> I guess given the bunk stick to speak to animals. So we'll, I guess, continue to travel back and forth through different places. I wasn't entirely sure where it wanted me to go last time, but re-exploring one of the older towns did result in at least new items. I believe we went through the Sand River, which was originally off-limits. I guess we have to maybe take a boat from the ship graveyard. Maybe that was literally the last thing we were told to do. Let's go ahead and pause the music. Switch over to the game itself. <clears throat> Let's see, most of our arms have been upgraded. I still really haven't touched armor at all. <laughs> I think that's what I've learned from playing a lot of JRPGs. Armor is usually just <clears throat> kind of a big waste of time. It doesn't usually scale up fast enough. I mean, there are exceptions, of course. And definitely the find, find what you need along the way strategy works in a lot of RPGs. So honestly, we're, I think we're still on basically the beginner armor. I skipped about, I think, four towns worth of upgrades. So that probably saved myself almost... Probably, probably like 15,000 or so in cash. And all that instead just went to weapons. So I just do even more damage. So far, not punished. The closest is maybe girl dying every now and then. But in some scenarios, I don't think it would have mattered. When she was taking like 656 damage, her having 40 more defense, unless it w somehow reduced the damage by literally quadrupled the defense amount, uh, she still would have died in the same scenario. So, so far, no, no regrets. <laughs> and in some ways, it's actually useful because it's given Cowboy an advanced boost in XP, which I would rather have. Also, I love the water shimmering when we're over there. So I believe we found all the items. So at this point, I guess we just go to the ship graveyard itself. Curiosity. Yeah, so I, I saved myself probably up. I mean, I think it Well, Let me do the math again real quick. How much money did I save on armor? Oh, so this alone would have been 1200 that I saved. Yeah, I don't care. <laughs> So never mind. When I said twelve, when I said like twelve thousand, add like add like a just double it, <laughs> because that didn't include any of the other armor. So I'm sure as heck not buying that. Okay, I don't hear any sound effects, so that tells me there's no items to pick up here at all. Sad to see an empty harbor. Hmm. I believe there's an NPC that offered us to go somewhere. I just need to think about where that NPC was. Yeah, docks are deserted. I'm gonna ask him about why it's called this ship graveyard. <clears throat> the inner sea currents bring a lot of debris to the region. These currents wash debris from the shipwrecks onto the shores of the town. Because of this, a passing dream chaser nicknamed this town the ship graveyard. The name stuck. Now only a few remember the town's original name. Yeah, I believe there was a quest from the guy in like the southeast building. They were mentioning something about like the combination of a super weapon. Yeah, I don't need to do anything there. I would like to restock my bullets, though. Glad I checked that. Hmm. I'm just looking for the guy that restocks. Are you the guy? There we go. I don't think I need to rest again. All my stats were green. Yeah, so, there, so there's no ships at the shipyard. 
Maybe the game wants me to do this then? Oh yeah, so we have to find this guy's wife's bracelet in the pleasing gardens. So I guess we'll try to go there, question mark? I don't recall seeing a place to do this though when we were exploring earlier. So I'll just keep exploring for now to see if there's something along the edge here that I missed last time. Yeah, I remember the you can't blame the, the you can't blame sign is here. Is there something hidden in the desert that I need to find? Hmm. I'm gonna tell them to basically autopilot. cryo. Welcome Chris, hope you're doing well. Should just auto attack. Should just die. I mean our damage should actually be pretty good because I did upgrade our weapons. Speaking of which. You're doing okay. 600 more XP acquired. Not that the XP matters. Hmm. So, I I'm assuming it's just somewhere in the desert. I mean... I, I don't see what else we could do other than explore, so there's probably some random tile that's the thing we have to find. So I mean I'll keep going until we find it. Don't you don't you tell us about fringing? Get out of here. We actually just completely removed its healing in one shot. Ooh, a crit. Might actually ma Ooh, crit damage actually matters now with her upgrade. Okay. I feel like I got rewarded for this. Oh, the camera zoom in tells you where it is. Oh. But do you see what I mean though, chat? Like, when I'm just running around the overworld, I'm not gonna see this. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, I was like, I'm like, it had to be somewhere in the desert, because there's literally nowhere else to go. He's gonna step on the thing. Oh no. Are. Are we literally in the sky garden of uh, Illusion of Gaia? Oh no, Chad, am I gonna flip around to the other side? What? Again, at this point, we should be doing so much raw damage that if they target the same enemy twice, it should just kill them. Let's see how much damage girl does with just a normal attack, or she'll just crit, which does real damage now. Zero armor attack? Go ahead, lower my defense. You're not getting another turn. <laughs> right, chat? You fool. Goodbye. Hellboy is leveled. How unfair. One of our strongest party members is now ultra high level. Oh my gosh, wait, are you being serious with me, game? Hold on. 
Oh, that's not it? Huh. I almost thought it wanted me to go in there, but it didn't do anything. Hmm. Weird. See, I thought it wanted me to walk into one of these, but it's not giving me an option. Huh. Weird. Well, I'll try the other stair. Basilisk. Nice. <clears throat> Should probably heal Hunter at some point. Okay, her having upgraded weapons actually makes a big difference here. Because I don't know if I would have killed that normally. Because he would have been doing like 60 or so less damage, and she would have been doing way less. So this is actually useful. I feel like the weapon upgrade just proved why I needed it if Hunter gets paralyzed. Money's still really good, XP is mediocre. But I don't mind taking some fights here. I mean, I guess I can see what happens if I come this way. All right, it comes over here. I'm confused. Did I not do something that would tell me how to get through here? Good morning, Rob. Hope you're doing well. <clears throat> I mean, I'll still take the fights. I do want the extra money. Because the way I view it at this point, I'm just getting arms upgrades. So we're at a puzzle. Is the solution... Okay, so if the solution doesn't have to do with the walls, do I have to just, like, go in one of the doors and go out of one of the other doors and something else will happen? Hmm. Puzzle in really early in the morning. <laughs> brain, brain, no think good. <laughs> okay. Oh, it did change it. Oh, come on, chat, come on. Really? For those that didn't see it, I came in through the left door. I went out the right door. Nothing was different. And then I went through the left door again, and then it was different. That's such nonsense. I'm rolling my eyes on that one. It's like in my defense, like I, I went through the I went through the door that was the solution, but it did, I went through the wrong way of it, so it didn't change. Okay, which one of these arbitrarily can I walk through? Okay, which one is it? Let's be real. We know this is what it needs. I'm just gonna bump into this until we go through. Uh, I think. I'm gonna try to use wind on this and see how this does. I'm assuming in case these are like desert enemies, maybe the opposite of desert would be wind. That's what my thought process is. Hopefully this will work. Oh, that did big damage. Okay, that looked like a weakness. Desert Pokemon are indeed weak to win Pokemon. Thank you, Rob, for the clarification. Oh, we're strong enough to one-shot them now. That's actually huge. 770 XP. Man, the dungeon scaling makes no sense. Oh. Well, that one's pretty obvious. Is there anything else to do? No. Okay, that solution at least made sense to me. The other one was just like arbitrarily go back the way you came and then it's progress. How rude. So I have no idea what would have happened if I kept going through the right door. Anyway, this should kill. So I'm liking the pace of money that we're getting because this means I could get an arm upgrade when we leave. Like for the main gun, not even the side gun. Um, I don't mind using a couple heal berries here to save MP. Oh, is this like the whole dungeon? You know, that wasn't too bad then. If it only had two puzzles, 
One of them was just kind of arbitrary. That one at least had a logic to it. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no, we're in pick a path world? Oh no. <sighs> I'm so disappointed. <laughs> Stop telling me about fringing game. Get out of here. So anyway, we're full on pick a path. Oh, please crit and kill him. That'd be hilarious. Crit him again. Yeah, I think this will kill him. Yeah, that's what you get for healing. Get out of here. Girl has gone up a level. Okay, that's actually somewhat relevant. She's the only character that usually dies in our boss battles. Duplicator acquired. Okay. Wow, that was... That was really lucky. Because I have no idea what would have... Wait. Oh, it changes every time I take a warp? Oh, ew. Teleporter puzzle. No. Is there a treasure chest up here? Nope. Oh, that's horrendous. Oh, and then it puts me back here. Oh my gosh. What is this? What is this dungeon? Okay, so I went down. There's a path I could have gone if I hit a switch. I guess I'm gonna pick a direction arbitrarily until progress is made. Nice crit. She did no damage. Please kill. Not quite. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> he should still die this turn, but I don't outspeed him still somehow. Although now he's definitely dead. Goodbye. Crits are too strong now. I got a boss heal item. Okay. I mean, I'm feeling more and more prepared for the actual boss, whatever it is. Okay, so we have different paths to take. I guess I could go left when in doubt. Oh, come on. What is- what is this? Come on. Please don't- okay. I hope these are just fake paths. I don't want to be playing pick a path for the rest of my days. Frawloss is with two Basilisks. Um... I'm going to choose to burn the shadow creature and hope that's the right call. Please don't stun my spellcaster. Okay, good they didn't. Oh, actually one shot the shadow creature. Well, time to see how Sir Rob does against the Basilisk. Respectable damage. I think they're neutral to it. This should just be a kill all around. I don't need to use any more MP. <clears throat> So much money, chat. So I think I could just max my accuracy then. All that for a heal berry? Hmm. Small damage is to fix. That means you use Sir Rob for the rest of the game. Indeed, I think it scales purely off our source stat. I don't think weapon attack influences it. That was really unfortunate that I outsped him there. Normally he outspeeds me. Bonk. 
Could use Hunter's MP to heal the team technically as well. I think we'll eventually get higher level magic. The game kind of hinted at that in one of the books. Huh, okay, so I can't go up. So I did accidentally almost go the right way the first time. Okay. Well, I'm still... I guess it wasn't really worth going back, but I did get extra money. The extra money was worth it. Hmm. Do they take damage from Amp? Let's find out. Please don't stun my characters. I'm shaking my head. Uh, they did not take that much damage. Hunter is so done. <clears throat> nice dodge. It's time for the bonk stick. Oh, she's counterattacking? That might actually kill. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Weapon upgrade. Woo! did something and then there was one I think it costs 7,000 to get more attack so I can very easily get that later if I want uh, I use some basic heal berries if I really want to restock them I can I mean essentially right now I could get like 40 or 50 just for completing one battle so it's pretty easy to do if I really want it. If I happen to get attacked again while paralyzed, I'll just try leaving. So yeah, I didn't see what to do here. I guess I could try this teleporter, see where this takes me. Okay, so that brought us up here. But that just... hmm. Alright, so I'm missing a switch somewhere. So, I didn't see it take me to anywhere new. Is there a switch at one of the other intersections? Let me go back. I'm just trying to think, like... I walk partially down here. It's not a switch or anything, right? No. Hmm. So once we hit the switch, I know where to go. But I have to find the switch. Is it something like it's on the wall and I'm just not seeing it? I feel like me and Switches, I do not just, I do not notice Switches that quickly when I play games. I don't know what it is about me and Switches. Like, I don't see anything here. I can't interact with this. Not one of these, right? It's not something like I have to return. I hope it's not something like I have to go through the teleporter and come back and then it's visible. That would also annoy me. But at this point, I don't see what else I could do. So I'm going to try going through this area again and just try leaving and seeing if anything changes. Or if I missed it in the other area. I'm almost at the point where I want to avoid all combat. I'm getting pretty close. I feel like I've caught them up in boss XP at this point. Yeah. Hmm. So we went through here. Oh, come! Oh. Chad, I'm so annoyed. 
please don't make game design like this chat. This really pisses me off. <laughs> I literally checked this the first time and I came back and I didn't see anything. And now it's just miraculously open. I hate that design so much, chat. That is so arbitrary. I hate it so much. I know. <laughs> it's like, like, what puzzle was I solving? Do you feel like going down a dead end because you went down some other path again? What a bad puzzle. <laughs> it's one thing if it's like I'm remembering orders or like you have to go indoors in a certain order based off of some vague hint given in the dungeon involving constellations or whatever. But it's like that one was literally just like, just hope you scrolled the screen enough to see it, I guess. Or else it just goes away after the first time you do it. So stupid. <laughs> they interrupted my running, apparently. So at this point, I can probably get another 10 attack on the main gun. I might pay money just to get 100% accuracy on one of the arms. Since we have so much bonus money from not spending stuff on armor. Arguably, I could be using arms here. I guess I could use prism next time we get into a group encounter. I'm saving my main gun for this point for the boss. Eat salve acquired. That's actually good. Yeah, it's like one thing if I'm like actually just like missing something in the in the area, but it's like that's so stupid. Now we can go through here. I like the thing in the in the ground. I'm assuming we gotta catch it. Unless I gotta bomb the switch or something weird first. Hmm. Gotta bomb the Dodongos, chat. There we go, I bombed the Dodongos. It's Gig Mantis, chat. Uh, let's take some manual control. Uh, you need to just do a normal shot here. Not gig, good, just gig, exactly. I will do meteor dive. Actually, we'll trickster you once. It's probably not gonna have any items. Then we'll go for big damage here. Mantis fist. I don't think I'm really worried about that damage. Let me guess, nothing? Of course. Why do bosses have nothing in this game? Wild Arn 2, please give bosses items. Ridiculous. Right, chat? Like, the one thing you would expect to have good items. Just literally nothing. Um... Do I heal now is the question. I guess I do. In case she gets targeted again. Yeah, that was a good choice to heal. Actually, I should have done the AoE heal in hindsight, but that's okay. Okay, we're doing insane damage. And thanks to the weapon upgrade, Meteor Dive is actually outdoing the arms, which is interesting. I'm gonna try to go for Cryo here. Maybe, they're weak. Maybe the bug is weak to ice. I think an ice or fire, it's weak too. Mantis Fist. Who are you hitting? Ooh, they hit Hunter. Okay. Nice. Oh, that looked like a weakness. Nice. So I'm going to use Mystic with... I guess Potion Berry for an AoE heal. So if the boss attacks first, which it did, good. I should get a big heal here. This will save a lot of time. So they, or, or potentially the boss could die before a heal. We'll find out. Because we are doing a lot of damage. 
Nope, not quite. I'll take this though. This is a big heal for the group. Yeah, I gotta remember she can AoE it now. Which makes her pretty much unstoppable at healing. It also means that normal healing is mostly useless, unless I'm looking to save money, I guess. Uh, I don't think I really want to do any of these other spells. I'm just going to keep using Cryo because we found its weakness in one try. Girl getting wrecked. Yeah, Meteor Dive plus Defense Down is just godlike. So before our arms was doing the most damage, but now Meteor Dive is. So I think both of them are going to be going back and forth for quite a while. So anyway, that was an easy boss. That poor boss just got bombed in the face and then I just murdered it. 1500 experience, Cowboy went up a level, got more money. Do I just throw its head at the crystal? I love if I could just pick it up. Hmm, the gig is up, something like that. Wow, look at Cowboy's health chat. He's at 1500. <laughs> she's at 955. <laughs> she's she's starting to get eclipsed real hard, chat. I mean she should level and balance it out a little more, but jeez. Talk about unkillable right now. Orb of power MVP. Ah, uh, we finally got the grappling hook. Tool grapple acquired. Grappling, grappling hook could be used to transport Hunter to a distant point. Many things you could hook onto, give it a try. So I wonder if I should take the time to backtrack to all the grappling hook places? Because there were a lot that we came across that I couldn't do anything with. I was curious if it would hook onto the fence. The answer appears to be no. <coughs> So, pretty much in every area, there was something I could have grappling hooked onto. If I could go to the original continent area that we were at before, I now have a duplicator and a hook. So, in theory, I might be able to get some really good items for backtracking. Goodbye. Get bonked by the girl. Ooh, didn't die from that, actually. Unfortunate. I knew you were going to fringe. That's why I didn't split my attacks. Damn, even through the healing chat, one shot him. I got one of my boss healing items back again. I mean, this is good. I have 11 potential full party heals at this point. It's kind of insane. Hmm. I don't really need to worry about anything. Still got half my MP. Still haven't used any magic carrots at all. Oh. Alright, chat. Oh. I'll go left first, I guess. Pick a path. Am I winning? Oh, wait, did I actually get there in one try? That is, that is actual madness. Also, that sound effect is horrible. It's the world of mirages, the curving light in the endlessness. Bring me from the prison of mirages, innocent one. Let the power of light show <coughs> this world some shadows. <coughs> Flash rune acquired. I can't believe I got through that puzzle in one shot. Legitimately. <coughs> Excuse me. Voice is feeling a bit weird. Not realizing I missed the endgame sword. Defense. I would hope not. Not a flash room. So what's the difference between these? 
Oh, more attack power, but less... Uh, I don't think I care about that. I think that's fine. What was in the other passageways, though? Bracelet is emitting a sad light. Bracelet acquired. Okay. I need to hand that to the other guy at some point. Did you dump me out of the dungeon? Well, that's really annoying. I do want to see what's in the other paths. Hmm. That is kind of annoying. I have to go through the whole dungeon again just to do that. Wait, did girl just one shot on a crit? Wow. That's that's when you know you're over level chat. So we're gonna do this this time. So I go straight here instead of going through the left one and being confused. Which again is super arbitrary, I would like to state. So I think this one doesn't reset until I go around again. No, I went left and then up, Rob. I have a very specific formula I follow if I don't know where to go. So I know exactly what path I took because it was the first try. I was like, I was like, my rule of thumb is I go left first, and if there's no left, I go the closest thing to left. So I would know exactly which path I took to get there. So what what was the point of the rest of the teleports, though? Like, where did they take you? Or did they all just inevitably lead to the same place? Uh, I don't really want to do any more fights. We got enough money. We got to be somewhat fair to the game. I'm almost at 40,000 money. That's kind of insane. I wish there was a save point up here so I don't have to go through this again if I accidentally leave. So what if I go the opposite of what I did last time? Let's go to the right. What if I go left? Is it going to put me in the other room I was just in? It will. So what happens if I go up from this one then? See, these teleporters are actually following a logic, unlike the other BS I was going through earlier. Okay, so all of them take you to the same place. Oh, actually, no, that's not true. The right one only takes you to the bracelet, so I would have missed the saint rune, or whatever it was called, the flash rune, if I had went right, and I would have thought I was done with the dungeon. That's actually really messed up. Can we talk about that, chat? That's not okay. So yeah, I did pick the only possible path that would lead to something. I'm just gonna round out my money total to 40,000. I don't really need the XP. jump off the ship slash the gardens or whatever all right so now my question is we're gonna take a small detour uh, uh, did it oh, does it move around randomly oh that's annoying i went left how did i end up in front of it again oh that's so that's messed up you're telling me the dungeon randomly moves Oh, that's... That's disgusting. Oh, I have to go back through the Sand River. You know what? I don't feel like going through the Sand River right now. When we get another teleport, we'll go back and see if we can get to the other area. That's disgusting. You gotta find a dungeon with no visual cue other than you hope you get close enough. <laughs> Actual nonsense.
Yeah, just I'm shaking my head. I don't I don't agree with that game design philosophy at all, for sure. Uh where I wanted to go was up here, right? I gave it 99% accuracy. Let's give it another bullet. Ooh, 15 attack power. That's actually pretty significant. Can I upgrade it again? Ooh, hell yeah, chat. Let's go. Uh, I'll do a basic upgrade so he misses with it a little less. So I can't quite upgrade it again. We now have a 70 attack power gun with 99% accuracy. So now I don't need to use force on the main gun at all. I have an extra bullet. I burned through all my cash, but these are long-term investments. So if I don't get too many alternate weapons, it's good. This also means I never have to use lock on ever again. It will be incredibly unlucky if I miss in a boss battle with 99% accuracy. I'm not going to say it can't happen. Just I don't feel like building around it. <clears throat> so potentially if his third and fourth force moves are any good, this will be big for us. The rest of my money I think will just go towards a weapon of a future character. Uh, let's hand back the bracelet. Thank you, this bracelet I gave to my wife. You found it for me in the garden. If only we had the sense to distinguish between courage and stupidity. My wife's death taught me a harsh lesson about what's truly precious. Courage and stupidity. Many think that courage is power. Real power is when you surpass your own desires to protect something dear. Courage slowly builds up inside Hunter. Sonic Vision Force acquired? Okay. So the merchant ship is here! Now we could cross the inner sea! The tide washes up debris from all over the inner sea. Just recently, the remains of a ghost ship washed up on the beach. A ghost ship? We can't go out. We can't go yet. Let's check this thing out. Okay, so new dungeon unlocked. Got it. Can I see what the force moves are? I don't think I can, right? Unless I'm in battle. I don't think so. Well, I think we got everything we need. I might as well just continue. So I could go for at least like another hour and a half. So this is the boat, presumably that will take us to the plot. So where is the other area they mentioned? The beach? Hmm. Well, I mean, I guess nothing will hurt for talking with this guy. I have money in case I need money to travel. We got burned by that in other games before. Beam chasers, it's surprised to see you after what happened last time. Luck hasn't gotten any better. Now we're involved in this ghost ship mess. Okay, so we can't do anything there. You guys always seem to appear when I need you. My soulmates. Can you guys give me a hand again, please? I want to get rid of this ghost ship that's frightening everyone at the port. If you succeed, people at the port will be happy again. We'll be able to resume trade. Of course, you'll be known as dream chasers who saved the port. You see, it's a win-win situation. Isn't this a great plan? Hey, no hurry. Need to make some preparations first. Come back when you're ready. If by preparations you mean make my gun inhumanly strong, that's already done. We're ready. Shall we go? I'll say yes. Okay, we'll transfer from Sweet Candy to the ghost ship. I imagine if I had Holy Weapon, it'd probably serve us well at the ghost ship. So sadly, there are no Holy Damage spells yet. Come back to the boat if you get into trouble. We'll be waiting here. Okay. So, basically, money from here on out is just purchasing future weapons. 
Hmm. There's a lot of holes in the ship that I can't get through. None of these have anything, but I'll throw them anyway out of spite. There's an item somewhere on the surface of the ship. Nice little body. Deteriorate from long-term exposure to sea air. Hmm. Nothing else in the room. Could go down further. Okay, let's not go there yet, then. Is there anything else I could do before going into the depths of the ship? Wow, those crates respawned? Truly, this is a haunted ship. Oh, speaking of which, hello. I guess I'll go left to get the item first. Oh, it's another doll thing, because it's called Christine. Oh, they outspeed me? I'm wearing speed runes. How am I being outsped so hard? JRPGs do love their haunted ships. Instead of Rachel, it's Christine. Not quite enough to one-shot, unfortunately. I don't know why they make the bird noises. 900 experience for that? Well, I mean, I guess I'm gonna level really quickly then. Oceanberry acquired. Hmm, can't seem to do anything here. Nothing to set on fire, either. This looks like a dead end. So I want to get into the middle, but I don't think I can. If I end up on the other side of those stairs, I could probably use the mouse thing to grab the item. Getting ambushed here does suck, because this is a lot of damage I'm taking. Normal encounters, I don't usually get hit, so it doesn't matter. They survived 446. How much HP do they have? Okay, so somewhere between probably 450 and 700. Hmm. Oh, yeah, it is calling them vampires. I just noticed that. That is very strange. This... Will this kill? Okay, so they're somewhere below 600 HP. So we narrowed it down a little. I think they're between 450 and 600 HP. Could be like four, 525, because they survived a 300 and a 190. How much XP are they worth? 600, uh... Okay, vampires aren't worth fighting. The dolls are actually worth fighting. Barely any difficulty change, worth 50% more. Alright, so let's go back down here. If I could get to the other side of that, as I said before, I think I can... do what I need to do here. Push and be required. Grapple. Let's check if there... I was gonna say, let's check if there's items on this floor real quick with the radar. Okay, this fight's at least worth it. Yeah, the fact we also won- See, it's, isn't it weird, chat? Like, we one-shot them and... They're worth more XP, but they don't do more damage than the other people, and they don't seem to be doing any status effects. Do you know what I mean? Like, why is this encounter worth so much more XP than the other one? Look how fast that was. I, I get 60 less money, but 50% more XP. Like, okay. So there's no... There's a door here. It's a push puzzle. Okay. Uh, I mean, do I even bother leveling? Do I even bother cost-downing Trickster anymore? I feel like it's literally not done anything for us. What a disappointing ability. Let's cost down Meteor Dive for now. Because this is kind of like our boss slayer. I'm very disappointed in Trickster. Uh, 
Okay, nothing of interest in the room. Hmm, I don't seem to be getting closer to that other treasure, unless we're able to go up at some point. That's me a little concerned that I missed it. Random encounter, please. That is a lot of annoying enemies. What I'm gonna do, I think I have to Kirk plus plus them. I think I need this encounter to end. So hopefully we'll kill some of the weaker ones in one shot, so the magic could be focused on better targets. Perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to have happen. Look at that chat, the AI is actually confidently targeting things. Ooh, that did no damage. That's unfortunate. I mean, this should lead to almost one shots across the board at least. This should kill. Oh, now it'll definitely kill. Thousand experience, okay. Five of those is about 5,000 experience, which is nice, given the fact that... Let me die, I don't want to be a pirate anymore. Let me out of this darkness. Oh. Hello, skeleton. Cybergeist! Yeah! Okay, manual time. I'm gonna just shoot him in his brick. Wait, I didn't reload my ammo? Oh, I didn't reload my ammo. That sucks. I guess I just used the inn and forgot about it. That sucks. Uh, I'm gonna use Sir Rob on it because it's a skeleton. I'm assuming it's weak to fire or holy. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a mini boss. Never mind. <laughs> just, just shot it in the face and it died. Yeah, that seemed about right. There's no items in here, so this was pointless. Weathered skeleton. Well, there's a book here. Log book, read it. It's a piece of paper folded in the book. The stuff is behind a hidden door. No one knows about the hidden switch on the side of the bed. What? What? Hmm. Oh, maybe, maybe it means the other room? Like up here or something? Hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't seem to interact with anything yet. Can't do anything here. Unless there's more than one Maybe there's something on the far side? Is that this room? Oh, there is a room over here. We are men of the sea. Pirating and smuggling is our life. So we'll be able to fight, even if we get shaved down to our bones. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Trying to murder him. Well, I'm just gonna do normal attacks since apparently they're pushovers. Did... I was gonna say, did that one shot him? Nice. Not a one shot, but we one turned him. So the game is trying to make sure we potentially get a lot of XP there. Cowboy leveled again. Jeez, Chad, he's just, he's eclipsing the party. I will briefly teach everybody about fringing. There's a switch, do you want to push it? Sure. Let open the door. items in the room, so we'll continue onwards. No items in this room either, so we just gotta make progress. We're gonna 
zip across. Get interrupted, feel sad. <laughs> All right, chat. Three Christines and a Wraith. Hmm. I think we Prism Ray the Christines. And for the Wraith. Oh, let's rob him. If he actually targets the Wraith here. Oh well. Not a big deal when he targets. This should hit because I pumped its accuracy, and if it misses, I'm gonna be so sad. Okay, good. Because that's exactly what that gun is there for. Did okay damage, but not enough to kill. This should kill probably though. Yeah, there we go. 1600 experience. Whoa! There we go, chat. What? A, what? A, what is going on with the XP scaling in this game? In the same dungeon, I got 600 XP. That was worth 1600 XP. Hmm. How do I deal with this? I don't think bombs will reach across there. Hmm. So presumably I can't do anything with this yet. So we'll continue forward. I got attacked while trying to use the lantern. Oh, regular skeletons are here? That's fine. They're worth 1200 XP. This is a pretty easy kill, I'm not gonna lie. Though I don't really need the XP, I more want the money, but given that it only takes like two hits to kill. Gotta go there later when you get the treasure chest magnet. I mean, we kind of have to do that already because we got the grappling hook. We gotta go back. Oh, pick a path. I'll go left first. Oh, please. Oh. <laughs> Try to keep finding progress. No. Let's go right then. I mean, this could lead us to the other... Okay, so now that we're going back up, it's possible I'll end up going to where I need to go. It's okay, we learned cut, surf, and fly, Rob. We could do everything now. Ah, uh, so this is the other side that I was curious if we could reach. I can aim. Magic carrot acquired. Uh, vampires were not worth fighting. Oh, come on. Disappointing. Well, I mean, if it's gonna force me to fight it, it's not worth the XP. Just disappointing, chat. Oh, if he crit, that would have saved us so much time. Well, that'll save us time. I'm just shaking my head. So it does have a little more than 450. I was thinking it has about 500 or 525 based off the damage we were dealing. And this is also why I don't bother with an, like analyze items in games unless I'm fighting like a really difficult super boss. How do I reach this chest? Oh, actually there's a straight path there, never mind. Okay, so there's an item up here. Lucky card acquired. Oh, right, we need to use that on a boss. Okay, next time we have a boss, I'm going to go ahead and do it. We keep getting them basically every dungeon. So we should be good for like the next four or five dungeons easy. And presumably towards the end of the game we'll get a lot of XP from it. Ooh, didn't kill. Oh, you're really getting a back-to-back -back attack on us? How did you outspeed the girl so heavily? That's unfortunate.
Curiosity, how far are we from leveling? A battle, three battles, four battles. That's not too bad. I'm not going to purposely get into battles. I was just curious. Okay, so we're going to go back here. We're going to teach the enemy about fringing. Berry acquire. I feel like we're almost at the front of the ship. This is reminding me very much of Soul Blazer. Especially with the dolls and the haunted ship and the giant flaming skull. Captain Geist says, oh, Captain Ghost, pretty much. The dead will roam the wasteland now. Celebrate our glory with your lives. Oh, he exploded into a big boss. I thought we were going to fight a giant head, but apparently not. Captain Geist. Uh, so let's take some manual control. Even though we know it's futile, I will try. I will try to loot this character. Let's go ahead and use lucky card. We'll trickster. Let's go for defense down. I'm ready for nothing, chat. Give me that old nothing. Yeah, never disappoints. I'm assuming the XP doubling is for everybody, so we should be good here. Stun Cloud. Oh, please don't do status ailments. Oh, he paralyzed two thirds of the party. Come on. That's super annoying. Seriously? I'm gonna use her Mystic to get rid of Paralysis, because this is very annoying. Well, I'm glad I bought many of those earlier. <laughs> right, chat? Many of those. Okay, so let's use our Hand Cannon. I only got six bullets, because I forgot to restock, but I think we'll be fine. I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do a safety heal on Hunter in case he gets double targeted here. And we'll focus on damage. Well, that's big damage. Ooh, there's still... So, wow, Hunter's outpowering the completely buffed up arms. That's kind of funny. Vanishing Buster Anchor? That did no damage. Don't, 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 don't hype it up if it's that lame. <laughs> right, chat? Do better. I'm assuming the death rune will not impact the boss, so I'm not going to bother her other ability. Oh yeah, that reminds me. What was your third ability? Focus, strength, and attack. Right, so let's, let's build it up a little more. So maybe it'll build him up to be a better boss character. Let's, let's rob him in the face. Fire probably will do okay. Nine hundred and fifty-three. Wow, that's big damage. Now our arm is out dealing our current damage total. Corner damage, not bad. Oh, I'm paralyzed. How annoying. I don't think I want to summon Guardian at all. I think our damage is just, just so high that there's pretty much no point to doing anything other than what I'm doing here. Unless I. Unless I have the Saint Rune, maybe? I forget if I, I forget what I actually have equipped rune wise. Because maybe then it would be holy damage versus the skeleton, I'm thinking. Because that could be why the other summon was just so bad. Uh I'm gonna burn force on purpose. So he has the same rune, okay. That's all I wanted to confirm. But I think I want Sonic Vision a little more. Let's see what this does. Let's 
1600 okay that was kind of worth it that is big damage goodbye boss delete button chat that crit was real kaboom 3400 experience received 100 went up a level 1500 money received i think the doubling of the money is more important i basically just undid all my purchases <laughs> It's kind of insane. So now what do you want me to do? Is there more? Leave the ghost ship? Sure. Chad, he got wrecked. Let, let's be honest. He got his he got as messed up as his ship was. So I'm assuming the blue boxes will end up being somewhere else in the game once the, once the ship sinks. So I'm not worried about it because there is clearly no way I could have reached it. Goodbye, ghost ship. Because there wasn't even like a point it would even reasonably drop down and attain them. And then even if I did, I wouldn't be able to do anything there. You guys helped me not once, but twice. My pride and honor tells me to give you use of my ship. It's will allow you to travel the inner sea. By the way, why are you guys traveling around Phil Gaia anyway? They told Bartholomew the entire story. <clears throat> the demons, the guardians, and the stolen teardrop. Wow, I had no idea something like that was happening. But it sounds exciting. Let me and the sweet candy take care of the sea. Tom says, Captain, I have a favor to ask. I'm from Aldehyde, and the town was destroyed by monsters. I'm gonna go and rebuild it. That's right, you were an architect. Don't worry about us, we'll be fine. Go rebuild your town. Thanks for everything, I'm in your debt. He's a very talented person. Hmm. It'll probably make Aldehyde better than it was before. Okay, we'll make preparations for departure. Meet you at meet you at the beach outside of town. It predates Ocarina of Time. Interesting. Yeah, I was gonna say Soten. I think is also around 1996. The, the pre-dual stick days were pretty early. Sorry, how much money do I have now? 2,500, wow. Chad, I went from 4,000 to 2,500. That is kind of intense how much money we just regained. Do I upgrade anything? Curiosity, am I able to upgrade the power of the main gun anymore? I can, but that's very expensive. Um... Bullets are maxed. I'll get one upgrade for Prism Ray. It costs like nothing to get another bullet, so I'm gonna do that. So I should be using Prism Ray a little more now that he's faster. And even then, it's an okay backup. I'm surprised we have not found any bosses that have had minions yet. Like, we've gone a surprisingly long amount of time without fighting multiple enemies in a boss battle. So if that day comes, I'm all upgraded. Let's get our money. There we go. Aha, I knew it. Boy hammer acquired. Another spell sheet, goat doll, revive fruit, wind vein? Wait, what? Avoid surprise attacks 100% of the time. Uh, does it give any other stats? No. Ooh, that's. Uh, I don't think I could do that if there's no other stats. 
I like the item, but I would have to give up 25% health or all my spell damage. Which I don't think I'm as interested in. Are there literally any other spells I could make at this point that are useful? Reduced response, don't care about that. I really don't care about the enemy's speed. I'm gonna be honest with you, so far it has not felt relevant at all. Blind, study, nullify, prevent magic. Oh, is prevent magic a silence? I guess we should get silence. This is all, I'm only gonna use this potentially on bosses. I'm gonna save the rest of our glyphs for later. So here we go, chat. What are we gonna name the silence spell? Please, rename this spell. To no one's surprise, the, the game has automatically called it Silence. Hmm. <laughs> the Great Contemplations of Life chat as we rename this. Let me rehydrate. Give chat a moment to think. I linked. Hmm. I like shh a little more. We'll call it shush. <sighs> Wish there was like an exclamation mark. I'm missing the exclamation mark, chat. There's so many times I would have just been adding it to the end of it. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna shush him. Alright, let's save because we haven't saved in a while. So, good assumption we were gonna get those regardless. So we'll leave town. I just want to see if the boat is here or I have to go back to the docks. Oh no, it's here. Oh, listen to that music chat. Okay, so we do have a world map. Uh, I th think? Based on the map, I need to go north to backtrack? I think? Oh, what's that? Is that item floating in the floating bottle? Duplicator acquired? Oh, okay. Well, that's... That's what we like to call convenient. <laughs> right, chat? Okay. Oh, these guys are so dead, chat. They're never getting a turn. Goodbye. I don't care if you have 400 HP in the starting area. You're so done. Yeah, I do like that traveling on the ship is so much faster than using the warps. <laughs> I do find that very funny. So they did mention Aldehyde. I don't really want to go there for plot reasons, quote unquote. I mostly just want to revisit all the locations here. So this is a good point to detour. Hmm. Is anything different in here at all? No, everything looks about the same. I'm just curious if there's like new merchants or... Yeah, your items suck. That's why your town got destroyed. Do better. Oh, there's an item I missed somewhere. Uh oh chat, we gotta go find it. Where is it? I 
a traveling swordsman. In my travels, I heard a scroll called the Secret Sign, which pass on ancient sword fighting techniques. If you give me one of these scrolls, I'll show you a new sword technique. Oh, that's annoying. I've been using them. We spare one. I'm gonna say no for now. Well, I guess if we find another one, we'll try to give it back. So somewhere in this town, chat. Oh, there it is. Big crate. Are there any other items? Nope. That was the only item we missed. So I guess we did a pretty good job hunting around then if I only missed one item. Hmm. Well, we can only hope that the castle itself has a thing that I can get. If you recall, there was a locked door, I think, on the left side of the castle. I hate this place. <laughs> So I should have two duplicators now. Press glyph. Press glyph. Oh, jeez. Oh, secret sign. Okay, we got lucky. I, I now have nine spells unnamed. <laughs> I mean, I could name them for the sake of potentially, if the game uses them in the future, we could get shushed or something. So let's go get a sword technique out of this, I guess. He's over here. Let's spare one. Yes, this is it, the secret sign. All right, here's the end of my bargain. There's a soul in everything that exists. You can feed an enemy by damaging its soul without touching its body. Reach its soul by extending your own. This is the essence of the void. The ultimate sword fighting mentality. Astral Hint acquired. We have acquired the Void Champ. Hmm. A little more ammo. to do anything here. Just seeing if there's any new NPCs to interact with. Train triangular tower, don't need to worry about that yet. Oh, so this is Aldehyde. Didn't didn't the guy say he was rebuilding something here, Tom or something? I'm curious why we haven't seen him around. Let me look a little more, in case I'm just missing him. Yeah, yeah, we know about the eight golems, blah, blah, blah. I don't care about that right now. Protect a rune called Giant's Crate on the other shores of the inner sea. The rune supposedly is sleeping giants within it. I don't know why she's telling us this. We already went there. I mean, we do got to go back there somewhat at some point. Hmm. Well, I'm just gonna help to fight the demons. Why is he asking this? They, they already got taken. Something in here. This is the hospital. Faith healing. What kind of hospital is this? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> chat. Yeah, I was curious if there was going to be like kind of like we were playing uh, Robotrek, for example, the ability to donate money to the town to make something happen. But I'm not seeing who I'm supposed to talk to. If there is somebody here. Hmm. We're finding a lot of empty houses, but nothing to do. 
January time, I've completed repairs to the town's cobblestones. Okay, so I can't do anything with him yet. So I guess I just move on for now? I might check this place again later. Welcome, Kirk. I guess I could check our old town to see if anything's there. Go to the tomb. There was a place I think we could go to. I'm just trying to think how to do it. Maybe it was like go up here and then around? Well, I'm revisiting on purpose because we got new items. There was a place we should be able to go across here now. What's here? Another spell glyph. I actually don't need them. <laughs> like, until the game gives us more advanced spells, I'm like, I think we learned everything that I need. I feel like everything else is just a waste of time and just not worth doing because I'm never going to use it. So. Hmm. I'm just thinking, if I go up from here, is the starting town still here? Yeah, in a modern game, this is where I would turn off combat animations, I'll be real with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, fast forward. I don't care about the auto attacks. Okay. Jenko says, pack up the starting town to run? Maybe. Mm. Get out of here, chicken. Nothing to sell here. You want to know why? Ask your friend. Friend calls to specify breaking the law. Oh, okay, so they acknowledge us. What if I talk to them as the friend, quote-unquote? Sorry, I can't tell the people who break the law. Well, glad to see this place still sucks. My husband, you committed a crime. Please don't visit me. Wow. Your actions have brought chaos to the village. If you have any conscience at all, please leave. Nope, we don't have any conscience. That's why I came back here. Take that, random villager. <laughs> Right, chat? You too, random small boy. Alright, so nothing new has really changed here. Hmm. I know, we're such lawbreakers. I really don't want to fight these. I guess there's nothing else to really do for now. I could explore the seas and then I just gotta go somewhere. There's one chicken that turns into a mushroom for some reason. Interesting. Yeah, I was trying to see if there was something we could do in this town. Because it feels like it was setting it up to be repaired, but I just don't know... ...where specifically we need to go... ...to do so. Because I thought we talked to everybody, but I don't remember if there's somebody else... ...that we need to worry about. Hmm... Interesting, interesting. Give me one second, chat. It's confirming plans for later. Don't see that on the timetables. So that should be fine. 
Um, so I think we went basically everywhere. Yeah, if chat knows if there's somebody you could donate to, let me know, because I'm just looking for them right now. I'm assuming there is, but I just can't find them. That guy is no longer guarding the chest. Left side. Yeah, that I don't consider a spoiler. See, I was in the doctor's house before, and that didn't really do anything. I'm gonna go a little downwards. I guess I didn't get into that other building. We went into here before, nobody was here. Uh, you know what it is. I probably just didn't enter this building specifically. Alright, Kuthbro, we must have money to redevelop the town. Okay. Need money for our reconstruction efforts. Would you donate? Sure. Thank you. Use your money wisely. Thank you, Chan. I walked by the building, I think, once. Engineering Tom is to head to reconstructing the town. We'll have to work together to rebuild our town. I've organized I'll have a restoration committee to oversee the reconstruction. All right, so I'm just going to walk out and walk back in, see what happens. So where is this lined up with? Okay, so if I go straight up from the left of the weapon shop, I'll find the building I'm looking for. So I'm going to just leave, come back. The classic... JRPG check. <laughs> Do you need more money? Sure. <laughs> right, chat? I'm just gonna... I don't have anything better to do with my money, so I'm okay with this. I'm curious how much they'll charge me. Let the race begin, chat. I still have 2,000. We cannot survive without the donations. Yeah, I'm gonna see what it looks like after we're done. Because I see the place is all damaged still. Slowly but surely, chat. Okay. The box. I'm curious if I even have enough money to complete whatever they're looking to do here. I don't have any purpose for money at the moment. I, I've gotten all I need. If I really need to get a weapon upgrade, it's fine. And I don't buy armor anyway. And I have a million items. You want 5,000 now. Ooh, you're getting kind of greedy. <laughs> like, you started at 500. We're at 10 times the original price. Wow. What a greedy individual. Greedy, 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 chat. Uh, let's see. I probably don't have enough money for the last part. If I had to guess, he's gonna ask for like 8,000 or something insane. Yeah, I don't have enough. Oh well, I tried. He just wanted too much. We can come back later. I'll make a note in my, uh... Other's thing, just to view the town when we're done with it. Let's see. I actually closed my other notes from the other day. Wild Arms. Aldehyde needs a lot of money for reconstruction. If bored and no need of cash. Okay. No, I'm good for now. I just want to interact with it when I'm done. So I could access the map this way or the other way. Now the question is, based off of the map, where do I think the other pyramid was? Hmm.
So we were here before. Interesting we could sail to the Volcanon Trap, which seems like a mistake to do. We did get into a random encounter though. How hard is it? Oh, it's just these. Whatever. Go ahead. Bonker. I don't even care. Feed me your like 600 or 700 cash or whatever you have. Goodbye. Oh, did I roll low? Oh well. Should be dead on this one. Nine hundred, excuse me. So I could go here. I'm looking for. Oh, I can't go in shallow areas. Good to know, I guess. I'm looking for one specific thing, and that is the pyramids we were at before. So there was a place I could grapple hook to. Three sirens. I'm just gonna say no to this encounter. I'm tired of their diseases and stuff. Just get out of here. Oh, they're out speeding? That sucks. So much for putting the speed runes on the other character. Too slow. Okay, amount of cash. Alright, so I'm basically just looking for where to dock to go back to one of the pyramids. The problem is, like, I'm trying to think about where it is because you teleport. So my sense of where this destination was is unknown because I never checked the map when we went there before. So essentially I'm looking for, I believe it was near Saint Centaur. But I don't recall where it was on the world map. Was it over here? Because we, we kind of warped a couple of times, so I'm trying to think of which one it was at. So there was a place where you could grab... Oh, ambush, of course. There was a place where we could uh, grapple hook. I'm just looking to revisit that pyramid. I mean, I guess I could go to any pyramid and inevitably end up there. Are you going to eat my money? That's rude. Yeah. I just don't recall where they are because we've teleported so much at this point. Because the, the last destination we're at didn't have a pyramid near it. I think there was a pyramid in the starting area. I don't want to go through the mountains again. Because that, that, is, that is bold to assume I recall where the pyramids are. I'm trying to think about where they were. We went through the mountains twice. Which town is this? It's Timney. Uh, this might work. This might work. I think there's a pyramid on this continent. Okay, so let's go figure out where this is. I kind of wish it marked the pyramids on the map. That would have been more useful than the towns. Is this the danger to the northwest? So I should be able to go backwards from the pyramid. I think the pyramid was up here. And then I can finally see what the other cart offers, if anything. Okay. Let's see what was here. So it wasn't Saint Centaur, it was Port Dimney, but I would have gone there anyway. Memoir pen, sunglasses, angel quill. Okay, we'll see what those do in a moment. We'll check once we're done exploring. I think that's all I remember in terms of hookshot stuff. Bullet clip, secret sign, rest glyph. Well, I have literally no purpose for the spells, because I don't need them. What are these? We'll fight Bad Omen, Flash, Forgetfulness. Don't 
think I care about most of these. I could secret sign right now, but we did find that one guy that wanted them, so now I'm not sure if there's more of those in the future. Hold on to literally just one for now. It's not like the MP differences mattered super much. So anyway, let's try surfing, or try going to the other side here. Oh, random encounter. I'm not really worried about your zero armor attack. I'm already wearing zero armor, joke's on you. <laughs> right, chat? I'm like, I still have yet to purchase armor upgrades. I don't think it really matters. I mean, it slightly inconveniences me that they're doing like 500 at the moment, but that's about it. It's like, pay, pay 1400 for armor or spend 2000 for money to for healing items that's basically the difference i'm weighing in my head you know that fight was not worth it only 726 xp man this game is so inconsistent with uh rewards okay i'm just curious what's here for 1000 we could change your name to a brand new one. Oh. Sure. Oh no, no! Oh no! No no! I thought. Oh. I thought it was gonna let me select the character. That's annoying. That is really annoying. I got ripped off there. Normally it makes me choose the character before then. Hold on. We're gonna rename the character briefly. Rip the one thousand that I spent there. There we go. Now, now we're complete. A life was full of regrets until that moment. Yeah, normally it makes us choose before then, but at that time it was like, no, no, we're just instantly taking that character. There's a bottle, sure. The message says, Adventurous Captain of Trade Seeks, Open-Minded Ladies 18 Years Old Plus. The rest of the letter is too faded to read. There we go. Yeah, we fixed Cowboy's name. This encounter is not worth it. I, I really don't want to do this encounter. There's a place there I can't do anything with. I can't go there at all. There's the tri-pillar. Hmm. There's another bottle. Press, press acquired. So I can't do anything there. I could see what the tri-pillar is about briefly. There are three roads. Cooperation and trust will bind them into one. I think this is showing us how to climb the tower. This must mean each of us has to go separately in order to reach the top. Well, that sounds dangerous, but we must separate from here on. Well, I don't even know if I want to do this yet. I, I just kind of went here. Is I don't, that a monolith? I, I don't think I want to do that. Right, Chan? I'm like, uh... Yeah, I mean, no, I don't think I want to do this yet. We'll save this for later. Yes. We'll worry about this later. I'm just looking to see like where we potentially go. So we have like a destination south of here we could go. Hmm. There's nothing to really do over here. We have all those all those potential spells, and I'm like, listen, I, I arguably have spells I don't even need. I have, like, my five elemental ones. I don't think I really need that much else. Armor down. Anything else just seems really unnecessary. Lots of little wagons. I do have Valkyrie. Use it every now and then. Most of the time I don't need it in combat. Oh, preemptive strike. Snowball attack. I might as well as commit to the attack if it's a preemptive just to get money. Yep, 
Yeah, fortunately I knew what spell you're talking about. We have not named that in a long we have not used that name in a long time. It's definitely not called Valkyrie. I believe that is Kirk Plus Plus on our playthrough. Alright, we got our money back. So there is like the beach over here. So like what is this? Giant's Cradle. Arch stone door with a weathered piece of paper next to a small hole. Sacrifice the innocent hearts of the sleeping giant. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Don't think we'll do that, but thanks. Cool. Uh, I wish there was a way to write coordinates down. Um, okay, so let's write destinations. Uh, southeast is Tri-Pillar Tower. Uh, North Continent. East of Quadruple Dots. Giant's Cradle. <laughs> nice knowing you, girl. That's true. She is the innocent one. She had another bottle. Lucky card acquired. I just... I can't... I have so many of them. I need... Uh, the worst part is I even started using them. I still have so many more. Ball cannon trap. Oh, that's true. We did see that earlier. Yeah, I'm not really sure where the game wants me to go, per se. I'm assuming it's kind of a pick-your-own-adventure right now, which is not something I do well with. I don't like open-endedness in games. I want to have, like, a clear goal. I don't know what my goal is as of right now. Like, we, we all the statues are destroyed. We know Mother is returning, but I haven't received anything to deal with it, so I guess I just go aimlessly until I hit a new town or something. Ooh, that XP is garbage. Okay, good to know. And you are which town? Oh, this is Saint Centaur. Oh, okay, okay. So you are still destroyed, correct? I used the free inn, though. <laughs> See, chat, the town got upgraded. Free, free resting. Hmm... Interesting, interesting. So anyway, let's proceed south for now. Hmm. So that puts us back here. I guess I'll slightly explore the inner coast, and then I'll pick a place to go, I guess. Unless I'm not allowed to cross here due to the shallows covering everything. Hmm. Yeah, so I can't go that way. This was where the volcano trap was. I'm just double checking there was nothing I missed over here. Okay, so I think that's all we can do then. So the question is where do I go first? Hmm. Oh, unfortunate. Yeah, these guys are not worth the time or money or XP. It's so sad. If they were dropping like 1500 cash, I would care. They're sad little, like, seven- oh, please, game. They're sad, like, 700 cash does not work for me. You really gonna make me fight this out? I'm gonna try one more time. Maybe our luck is just not good enough. Okay, fine. Now that we've crit, I'll just commit. So annoying. 
Is she actually gonna solo kill that thing? Almost. Yeah, it's just kind of one of those things. I wish I had a spell that just escaped all encounters. I, I don't want to level. I don't want money. I just want to go to the next destination. Kind of unfortunate. Yeah, if this was like Final Fantasy VI, I would be smoke bombing literally every encounter. Is she going to get outsped and not heal? I mean, if she dies, I don't really care. Wow, she got hard focused. Holy. That's fine. She doesn't need XP anyway. I don't rely on her for damage in boss battles, so we're good. Once she debuffs, it's fine. She uses space tanks. <laughs> Poor girl, yeah. Uh, well, there's like a little whirlpool thing. I don't think we interacted with that last time. Yeah, th this is where like encounter be gone. Th I saw the thing where it increased encounter rate and I'm like, are you mad? So I can't do anything there. I want to talk to the guy that's standing over there. See if he has anything interesting to say, and we'll keep exploring down here. Venom Bear, that's a new enemy. Uh, I'm going to opt to shoot you in the face. Yeah, let's Kirk plus plus them. I don't know how tanky these things are, so I'm taking them somewhat seriously. Well, a thousand damage will definitely kill. Goodbye. Totally necessary damage down. Only 200? Okay, I don't, as I said before, I don't think I've ever fought that enemy. It's getting dizzy, I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, is he looking at the spinning whirlwind? Is there anything actually over here? There is something over here. We've not been here before. Why is this area? Okay, so I, I have a general question from like a game design philosophy. Why are new areas giving worse rewards than areas we've previously been to by like a lot? Like out at the sea, we're getting like nearly triple the reward. In the prior dungeon, we were getting like quadruple the previous reward. And this one, we're getting like a third. Well, I guess we'll see what this town is about. I'm just, I just feel confused about the scaling in this game. Do you have anything new? Oh, you do have a new weapon if I want it. How badly do I want it? I feel like I don't need it. I think we're gonna skip these. Like I could in theory, I probably just want like a million of these. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, if I can hold off buying one set of upgrades. Sorry, you said something. There's a little girl living by herself at the east edge of town. Okay, so that's probably our destination. We have to talk to that girl. But from the standpoint of like the item upgrades, like I'm already doing insane damage. So like, I don't feel a need to upgrade again right now. And even if I do, we're not upgrading the girl unless I'm really bored. And Cowboy doesn't usually attack on bosses. And that's kind of like the only relevant thing. Gosh, 11 spells. Listen, I don't need them. Yellow coin acquired. People in this town aren't very nice. Let's make him a personality somewhat unfriendly. Because that L girl, the mayor is ill. What this dog to keep the L away from my house. Both this town and I benefited greatly from trade on the inner sea. Girls are busy all the time. Ha ha ha. Don't you think money is everything in this world? Has look unusual. See anything you like? This town is very special, don't you think? This town may be rich, but there's something missing in the hearts of the people. Yeah, yeah, whatever, bartender. Let's see. Rumor has it the yell living on the outskirts of the town. Been there for many decades. You know how spooky that is? So I'm assuming if I make the whirlwind go away, I'll access new areas. Been reports of elves hanging around this town for at least 200 years. Now that lives in this town is probably the last cell in Philgaia. 
wonder why it stays here. Hmm. Well, if we get the name of that L, that might tell us how to open up the other memory temple. So I'm hoping we get a name out of this at some point. I give a trust here. Elves must be like demons or monsters. Elf looks like a little girl, hates seeing her get harassed by town folk. Yeah, like every single person we're talking to is talking about the girl at the East End. They really want us to go there. Okay, right, so there's a chest up there. But we'll see. You know, I'm trying to dash. I need you to, like, not walk in front of me, please. <laughs> right, chat? Like, get out of here. Power Apple acquired. Well, that will just purely go on one character. Oh, my order got rearranged. Why did it... Oh, did the stupid tri-pillar mess with my team order? That actually really bothers me. How do I fix that? Or maybe because I have them selected, maybe it does that. Oh, okay, recycles them. Okay, we're good, we're good, never mind. I've never opened the menu and really paid attention to that before. I just want to make sure their combat order is a very specific way. And it was just because I was as the boys. We're good. Is there anything I need to do up here? Oh, there was an item. Oh, it's in the middle. That's why I didn't get it. Mayor Hernandez says, There's a rumor that my illness was caused by the old living just outside of town. Luckily, my sons are healthy and doing fine, thanks to my money. Yeah, I just want to make sure they're going in a very specific order, because if, if, like, Cowboy is not first, for example, that would drive me wild. I like my older brother again today. <laughs> You're not invited. So there's still items I haven't found. Hmm. Still another item I haven't found. We'll give the hearty apple to the girl, because she's just face... She is literally face tanking for the whole team, like, every single game. <laughs> it's, like, so bad. Hmm. Still more items I haven't seen. Nothing over here. <laughs> yeah, she's, she's fulfilling the VP2 role. She's the only character that gets Vitality Apples, and I feel like 90% of the time, she's the one that gets targeted with something. Just want to make sure I didn't miss anything up here. Got nothing up here. Hmm. Where did I not look? Unless there's something over here. Ah, oh, there is. That was the last item. So we got, uh headgear for somebody. I'm assuming it's me. This, this is chat. This is the only time I upgrade armor. Like, I'm still using travel vests. Like, look how little defense it gives. It just doesn't matter, chat. Oh, my luck is terrible. That would explain. Yeah, worse luck. Okay, so we'll proceed for now. Pretty flowers. I didn't know that beauty like this still existed in Phil Gaia. Oh, trigger the plot. Oh, girl says, hey, do you like flowers? Are these your flowers? They're beautiful. I'm different from you. I'll get in trouble if I talk to you. You're an elf, aren't you? I met your kind before in a ruin, although it was only a holographic projection. I learned that all the elves disappeared after the war with the demons, but here you are in front of me. I'm... I'm the only one left in Filgaia. I'm all alone. What do you mean alone? What do you mean, what do you mean alone? I have to pay penance here. That's why I could not leave here with the rest of them. Hey, give me that thing! We want to play with it now! Give it to me. What a bunch of rat-faced kids. The three of them against one girl. That's an L. You'll be cursed. Hey, what? Our father's the mayor of the town. You're gonna be cursed. And then they flee. Why did you do that for me? No one has been that nice to me in a long time. I'm supposed to be alone forever. Oh, her name is Mariel? I'm actually gonna write this down. 
Mariel. I wonder if it's worth going back to the memory temple and putting that in. It probably is. Let's try it later. Thank you for your help today. Those boys always mess up my flowers. You have nice flowers. You must like them a lot. These flowers possess strength as well as beauty. They come up through the hard ground. I love that strength. Are you trying to bring back the greenery in your own way? That's real strength. Strength a person like myself cannot manage. I'm not strong. I'm a... The father of those boys has a grave illness. I know the cure. I kept quiet because... An herb called the Arnica grows in the forest of the south. The Arnica will cure his illness. I was afraid they'd do terrible things to the forest, so I kept silent. You'll be strong with friends. Let's go to the forest and get some of that Arnica tomorrow. The Arnica is one of the, in one of my flower fields. <laughs> Wait, can I just choose to bring her along in random places? Okay, so I want to go back to the memory temple. I'm going to make a save here in case this ends up being a dead end. So I wake a quick, quick work back here. And then we'll uh, see if we go forward. So we needed a name input in the memory temple. So I was just waiting until we got the name of somebody. That was an L, so that way we could potentially open up the treasure. So that's what my thought process is. Let's take a little detour. We're basically just kidnapping her right now, for clarity. <laughs> just, they're like, go south, immediately goes northeast. These things aren't, these things are literally not worth fighting. It's basically like fighting in the starting area. Well, anyway. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, the forest to the south. We'll get right on that. Yeah, unless I can prove that I'm going to get something really useful there. Oh, that's pretty close. Memory Temple was, I think, in the northwest. Okay, if I don't auto-succeed the runaway, I'm going to lose my mind. <laughs> like, this, this is just literally starting area. Get out of here. I was gonna say, where's the repel when you need it, chat? That's the spell I would be using right now. I'm like, I don't need money, I don't need levels. We're good. I don't need armor. I'm rolling my eyes. Game, I really don't want to do these encounters. I know you're, you're really looking forward to be fighting Balloon again, but I'm not interested. Yeah, there's one that attracts things, and in no no circumstance whatsoever do I want to use this. I don't see why I would ever want to grind in this game. It's not that hard of a game. Oh, can't figure it out. That's right, we're big dumb. Okay, let's see if her name works. Oh, no match. That's unfortunate. Well, I tried thinking ahead on that one in my defense. Soft reset time. Actually, I could have just loaded. Never mind. It was faster to probably load. But now we get to enjoy the this PlayStation boot up, I guess. I'd still rather not have to walk all the way through there. So I tried. I did insert a new name that we found. I guess technically if she was left behind, maybe she wouldn't be the one that would open the chest. But I was hoping that just any L name would open that up. But apparently not. Unless it's something stupid like it has to be all capitals. Which we'll try later when we inevitably find the L village. Because they've been hinting really hard I'm going to be going there at some point. But anyway, back to the main village.
I think I got enough time to maybe do this dungeon, depending on what it is. Forest Mound. Sparkly flower. The herb is full of energy. This is the Arnica herb. It should heal the mayor's sickness. Hey, there's an excellent playground in the middle of the forest. Let's make this our fort. It's ours for sure. This is our playground. Get out. Please. These are important herbs. Don't abuse them. I said move. Do you understand? He eyed at us. Ah. There we go, we punch him. You hit me, I'm the mayor's son. Mario came to pick these herbs up for your father. Both the elves and the humans live in Filgaia. Why would we fight each other when demons threaten both of us? I don't understand. Salt human history contained many battles. What's wrong with the strong leading the weak? You dream chasers possess the power to fight, so don't be hypocrites. It's okay now. Don't be afraid. I'm confused. No one has ever been nice to me. I don't know what to do. Herb Arnica acquired. Is there anything else to actually do here? There's a magical machine. It seems inactive. Okay. Good to know for later. Let me make a note of this. So, forest near Rosetta. Inactive machine. Memory temple. Tried. And I'm going to give exactly this in case it wants it on all capitals or something stupid. We'll come back later. So when we find presum presumably somebody that was in the L village before, we should be good. Back to Rosetta Town we go. Hmm. It's the town of Rosetta. It's a nice town, just like me. Hmm. Bonk. So I guess with nothing else to do here, we just go to the mayor's house. Mayor Hernandez says the L brought healing herbs. Don't be ridiculous. Rumor has it El cast a spell on me to make me sick. You should ask the people spreading these rumors how hard she fought to get these herbs for you. Met your sons at the South Forest. They should know. Let's go, Mario. Now you have a strong heart. I have to water my plants. I have a feeling that I could change the world like you said. Okay. Oh, hello. I have an interesting proposal. Will you listen? Much better. Here it goes. There's a ruin called the Volcano Trap at the west of the Inner Sea. Yep, we already went there. Rumor has it that the Guardian Blade used in the Ancient War a thousand years ago may rest there. I wonder why people's interest in that sword is perked up all of a sudden. And to see if you would join my search. I want the treasure on the Volcano Trap, and you want the Guardian Blade. We would make a good team, don't you think? I guess we'll say yes. Leave the Volcanic Trap key to me. Just take care of the monsters, okay? That was easy, I guess. Uh... So, I guess it's good that I didn't try messing around with the Volcanic Trap. The Tri-Pillar, I'm not sure. Maybe it's an optional dungeon or something. I'd rather go back in there if I level a bit more, regardless. How's our money looking? 1100? Do I want to get a weapon for Hunter specifically? I don't care about the other characters. Uh, I guess. I'll skip the other two characters. I've nothing better to do with my money, so I'll just sell this, I guess. So we got the Jello coin. I'm assuming some of these require me to potentially use, uh, what's it called? 
mystic in order to use them. Like, I know we have the bone, for example, that we got from the one treasure chest. Just thinking about if I have enough time to do anything else. I might not. I guess it really just depends on where the save is in this dungeon. I would like to see what happens if we go over there. Still can't get past there. Sirens and harpies, please no. I actually don't care about the upgraded harpy. I actually hate the original harpy. It just kept diseasing me. That's so annoying. It's like, oh no, the harpy does 50 more damage. I don't care about that. Constantly using status cure items drives me wild. Fine, I'll humor the game and auto attack. Yeah, I think what I could do is probably sail a little closer. And then we'll probably take a break. more money. Uh, just thinking about it. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, can I beat the dungeon in 25 minutes? <laughs> That's what my thought process is right now. Maybe. I have to get to the dungeon though. Yeah, this is where, like, if the game, when I hit the map, had, like, map coordinates, that would have been very useful for me. Yeah, let's just try going here. If nothing else, I could probably hit a save point in the dungeon by that point. I think it's worth attempting. We have the special key to open this door. You sure know... You sh Oh, excuse me. You sure about this, my lady? Of course. Now get to it. Okay, my lady. Oh, it's just a big bomb. Okay. I got it. Check this out. Jane does her thing. My work is so flawless and fat free. You guys take it from here. I'll take the rear. So, you want the easy job, my lady. You're damn right. Okay. Uh, nothing to the left. Okay, are these enemies actually worth fighting? Can you please stop giving me like 300s and 600s? Stanga and Zone Maker. Hmm. Let's take this somewhat seriously. I'm gonna shoot the big dragon. I'm gonna try the new technique on one of these. And, oh, her health is a bit lower than I thought it was. Uh, I could try to Kirk him. You healed before anything happened. Oh, it's got a, look at the head of his butt. Look at that chat. Ha. Ah, heal this. I expect a lot of damage here. Although it is a mage, so it could take less damage. Yeah, that's unfortunate. Mages don't seem to take any damage from Valkyrie normally. It used silence on me. How rude. It's making cat noises at me. Okay, do you give at least 900 and everything? No. Okay, I can forgive you, you give at least a thousand money. Now I I can forgive you on that one. 
<laughs> I can't forgive you if you waste my time with your like sad sub 900 XP. Like again, like we've gotten so much XP from elsewhere. It's just kind of insulting when the game gives us bad fights. Oh, hello, wall of lava. Hmm. I'll go to the left first and we'll see what happens. Basilisk was a fight worth taking. Because I think just two of them alone were about 700, so I think three might put it close to 900. Nice crit. So these things were the things we fought in the prior dungeon. The only downside is Stun Cloud is quite irritating. If we get a counterattack here, it'd be huge, but he is paralyzed. So good thing we gave her that weapon earlier, right chat? <laughs> From a while back. Paid off yet again there. 1300 is worth it. So more money than I was thinking. Do I walk in the lava? Potentially. I could if I want to. There's something down there I could acquire with Pon Pon. Seriously? Why are you not picking it up? There we go. Money acquired. Must have been like just barely off screen. Should be fine. Oh no, chat. They're teaching each other about fringing. I mean, if all they do is just silence my melee characters, I don't think I care. Well, even their normal attack is... Okay. Confusion is more annoying, for sure. And it failed. Nice. Nice crit. It could actually matter. I think it does. If this kills, it mattered. Yeah, it did matter. 800 XP, 900 money. That's okay. It's still worse than the prior dungeon, I would just like to point out. Full equip required. I'm assuming there's some kind of trap if I try walking in the middle there. That's why I didn't bother doing that. There's a chest over there. Angles, please. There we go. Silver harp acquired. You do what exactly? You remove silence or something? That's about what I thought. So there's another passageway down there. I could act. You know what? I'm gonna use the radar to see if we miss any items on this floor, and if there's nothing, I'll just keep going. I'm gonna hard focus the magician thing. doing less damage than the stuff that was out at sea. I, The scaling in this game is all over the place. But I'll take the bonus money, I guess. We're due up for probably another arm, if I had to guess. Yes, there is an item somewhere on the floor. Let's go look for it. Nice. Is this good enough? Is that all the items? No. So radar at least is semi-useful and just telling me if I could go to plot progress or not. Boost. Boast Bamboon? Boost? It's it's only one O though. Uh I'm silent, so I can't use my techniques. Why don't I just I'm gonna rob him. I mean, fortunately, our weapon damage is kind of crazy. Yeah, Rob for the kill. Only 500? That's it? Oh, that fight was not worth it. 
I'm so disappointed, chat. Alright, nothing left, so let's go back down. Oops, not that way. I mean, I could probably go that way. I have enough healing items. We're making okay progress through the dungeon. Plus, we can eke out of there anytime we need. Running away. I try to save time, the game is like, no. Thou must fight the very annoying, very long animation casting wizards. Girl did get confused, which is not the worst. Them confusing Hunter would be a problem, unless they're confusing Girl again. Oh, the confused Hunter. Okay, can we please leave this encounter? I really don't want to deal with double confuse. Uh, let's just fix their stats. So Pinwheel, I think, gets rid of what I need. And what got rid of Silence? Oh, the Rose. That could have been bad. Hmm, so this is like a movable point. Let me do this so I have a way to get back, maybe? be able to synchronize with an arm in order to open the case. Okay, so we're getting a new weapon. Rocket launcher acquired. It's another group attack. It's actually so much weaker than our hand cannon. Do I even want to upgrade this at all? I don't think I do. Not at the moment, anyway. I don't think it's worth using. I think that's also kind of the downside of the arms. I'm just kind of like not excited to use them unless I get back to town. They're just so much weaker than the hand cannon that we have. Please don't make me fight this. It's worth barely an XP. So sad. It's not even worth XP. It would take like literally like 25 plus encounters to level off of this thing. That's how bad the XP is. The word's not worth come to mind, but if I can't run from it, I'm assuming running has a little bit of like either luck and at least level. So sadly, even though I think these enemies might be higher level, they're just not worth it from like a standpoint of fighting them. Yeah, so that would take 20-ish to level Hunter. Hellboy just happens to be close. So I could take a couple of encounters if I really want to. I'd still prefer not to. Let's move this in a way that I can come back. Another lucky card. I'm getting like one a dungeon. I don't, I think physically I can't keep up with lucky card at this point. So I'm gonna use it on the boss. I, you know what, I'm not gonna even try to run. I feel like the game is not gonna let me. Please don't confuse Hunter. Okay, good, it failed. I don't care if they confuse Girl or Cowboy, but Hunter's kind of a problem if they do that. Him not DPSing is kind of huge. Girl not DPSing, I don't care. There we go. Okay, so he already did his damage, so even if it heals here, I don't care. Silencing Cowboy doesn't do anything, because guns don't care about words. Eighteen hundred. I keep ending up with so much cash. Uh, I could zip across. Is there anything else I could do here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, there was something over there. Uh, go this way then. Uh, can I angle this correctly? Not quite. Do this maybe. Buy fruit acquired. Hmm. There's another item somewhere here. Interesting. Seriously.
Is that the final item? I'm gonna move slightly to the side just to see if there's another chest there. There's not. ability to parry really matters for me that much, honestly. Most of the time it barely triggers. I do something like this. Save myself some MP for later if he doesn't die. Oh well. I tried. Hellboy with even more HP, because life is fair. Ouch. Assuming... I'll just go over here and grab it. Is that the last treasure? Yes. I don't need to worry about that then. We're just looking for the exit, which is probably up here. It was two doors. Okay, one's probably a save. Him, <laughs> please. I really need to be. Oh, your new enemy. Um. I use him, Boldy. Soulbreaker has been mastered. It didn't look like it did damage. Oh, he's got AoE rock magic? What a cheater. I want that. This is the Reaper's power. Wow, that destroyed him. Okay, that XP was worth it. Anything that's like below 900 at this point is just absolutely not worth fighting, like at all. Why does this feel like progress? I just... I... I just want to see... I just want to see which one is the treasure path. Oh, irritating. Okay, so what was in the right door, since this seems to be going somewhere? Wait, they both zigzag? <sighs> I don't want to fight these enemies. They give so little XP, chat, and they just throw a million status ailments out. They're not hard, it's just kind of annoying. Thank you for stopping by, Rob. I'm looking to hopefully either hit the boss or a save point in like the next 10 minutes. I'm getting concerned that uh, we keep getting these really long force encounters. Because like this alone, this spell takes forever to land and then it doesn't even necessarily do anything. I'd rather they fringe. The real time loss on Confuse is insane. Please don't confuse, Hunter. Okay. So far, Flash has not really impacted me whatsoever. I think that's the most tame, tame status ailment I can ask for. So we're gonna use the, one of the many pinwheels we picked up earlier to get rid of Confuse. Okay, so both of them seem to be- oh. Is this the treasure chest? It looks like it, my lady. We have arrived at our destination. We will split up from here. She'll do my best to find the guardian blade. Oh. Um... What? Oh, so... 
So I, okay, so that was the plot. She had to go here. So then... I did pick the right, technically the right way to go get something, but I needed to drop her off there first. Okay. I'm going to shoot one of you to speed this up. I'm going to hopefully kill one of you right now. Do I have to sit through your long animations? Speaking of which... <laughs> yeah, we have nearly guaranteed hit due to how we leveled our item. Good. I'm like, we got things to do today. Girl is leveled. Could be relevant. Okay, so this seems like we're probably at the end of the dungeon then, if we found the other place. So close, chat. We keep getting time wasted with these enemies. Please let us leave. Man, chat, what I would give for, like, an escape spell, you have no idea. <laughs> like, like, I don't... The, the fights on the sea were okay. The fights in the desert near... What was it? Saint Centaur? Were so much more rewarding than these battles. All they had to do to fix this was make them actually worth XP. I don't feel like I'm asking for much there. Like, how are we, like, three dungeons beyond and we're getting so much worse XP? Like, that was, like, what, three dungeons ago at this point? We were getting 1,200 experience and, like, 1,500 cash. And now we're going down to, like, barely 800. It's insane. Come on, game. Do better with your rewards. I don't want your money. I have no interest in money in this game. We're good. We're powerful enough. There's a scratching sound. What is it? Oh, it's you. Set at your service. Thanks for waiting for my friends. They're from Phil Gaia. Let the execution begin. I'm up and totally ready to go, dude. Here we go again. You're the fool who thinks he's a match for me. This time it's gonna be different. No sunny breakfast for you tomorrow. This guy again. Hmm. You hear the voices of all. Being praised as the best of the best. Okay, so once we're done with this boss fight, I need to take a hard stop. So I'm going to check if there's a save point above us, and that's about it. What do I want to do here? My HP's looking okay. I guess I'm good to fight as is. Bullet. Meteor drive. Weaken with wide open. Secret technique something. 487? Oh, I don't care about that at all. I mean, we should have so much damage on this team. He should just be deleted. Like, he's already taking 800 before the debuff. That reminds me, when it gets to her turn again, I gotta defense. Okay, I gotta use the card before I go too much further. So let's have her use the lucky card. Okay, so next turn I'm gonna have her heal everybody. So we're doing about another 300 damage. That damage is about the same. So let's try to have her use her AoE heal. Hopefully he doesn't focus the middle character, or I'll be kind of sad. I'll do a basic heal. I don't think I need a big one here. We're already doing so much damage. This should put everybody out of one-shot range. That's all I'm looking to do here. Yeah, that's my warning that I'm near end of time. So let's see. I guess I could do... Yes, Vinny on him, maybe? 
Ooh, him hitting Hunter there is kind of a problem. We're doing a lot of damage, though, so I'm assuming he's near death. So I guess I got a little greedy for going for the basic heal. Welcome, Chaos Mania. Oh, I was hoping that would get the kill. That would have been so good. Uh, I guess I'll use one of my better heals with Mystic if I have it. See how this works. Oh, they killed him. That's unfortunate. I got greedy there. I deserve it. This will put me at a kill range for both characters. I will use a revive just because I do want Hunter to get XP. I could probably beat him without the revive, but it's fine. So if the combat continues, we'll go use the revive here. Yeah, I got I, I got punished for being greedy. Oh, and he's dead anyway. Never mind. <laughs> no revive apparently. Hey, what are you doing? Stop! No, wait! 5,400 5, XP. Oh, he didn't give any money? Oh, that sucks. You're getting on my nerves. Next time you won't get off so easily. Next time no more Mr. Nice Guy. Wow, we didn't even get money for that? That was a terrible boss fight. Yeah, rip, rip Hunter's XP. How far behind is he, if, if at all? He's, he's still in front of the girl. <laughs> he, he, she got double XP and she's still not caught up with him. That is so sad, chat. Big F in the chat. Okay, we're saving here. We're gonna continue next time. Big F in the chat for her XP total. 5,000 still didn't still didn't catch up. So kind of unfortunate he didn't give any money. On the plus side, most characters are now about even. Except for Cowboy. He's in his own universe of XP. Yeah, I got punished. I, I got punished for being greedy there, and that's fair. I should get punished for being greedy and not using a better heal. So we'll save again and we'll give our final thoughts here. So we'll complete the dungeon next time, I think. Just make sure I save with the heal. It just makes more sense to do. So how do we feel the session went overall? Well, other than getting punished very briefly for greed, uh, I think the session went fine. There definitely are just like too many encounters here I can't run from. I don't know if it's like a level issue or a stat issue because I have like pretty much as high response as I could possibly get. And my luck is also pretty high on most characters. So I'm imagining there's some other factor other than just pure RNG involved as to why like these characters I can't run from, but the starting area I can. So that's kind of unfortunate since I'm not super interested in the combat at the moment since I feel like we're very overpowered. So even without having touched our armor at all since the beginning of the game, like literally I think outside the first shop in the game, I don't think I've touched our armor. Uh, so far it hasn't really made a difference. I mean like... If we get double targeted, it's unlucky, but other than that, it's not any different than I would say a normal difficulty RPG. So I'm glad I'm not spending extra time leveling armor. I'm happy all of it went to the gun because our boss fights seem to go extremely quick since we're focusing on basically pure offense. So I feel like that's good. I do wish there was something to ward encounters or to auto escape them or something that guaranteed run or something as an item because I would be using it, I think, literally this entire dungeon. It is kind of a shame the XP gold rewards are so bad. I I don't know who balanced them. I hope in later Wild Arms they realize that later dungeon should equal more reward. Like, I can't believe I have to say that, but like we, we do have to acknowledge there's a big problem with it currently, where like this dungeon is still not giving as much XP as the random desert near Saint Centaur. That was literally a session ago, chat. It's, we're still not caught up to that XP. So I don't know what they were thinking. But anyway, chat, uh, that's all for now. So thank you for sticking around. I don't have enough time to do another sign off. So we're going to say goodbye to the stream as well as YouTube on this one. So, so long, YouTube. But if you did watch to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time, and for those watching the stream, I hope you have a good day or a good night, depending on the time zone.